everyone, this is Maria, and today I want to share with you a few things that my husband and I purchased at a small flea market in Tennessee. Now, I can't remember the name of the town, and so I'll figure it out, and I'll put that in the discussion box below. But I know we were on our way to Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, so it wasn't very far from there. But anyways, you guys, it was a really small flea market. We pulled over, and we go, hey, let's check this out. And you guys, we found some really cool things there. Now, I'm from Southern California, so at flea markets and swap meets over here, sometimes you'll find things like collectibles, and they do want higher prices. We got some things for really good prices. I think we spent a total around $35, which was a really good day, you guys. So let me go ahead and share what we bought. So the first thing we purchased is this set of Matchbox cars. And so these are die cast cars. This was produced in the 1990s. And so it says pills, potions, and powders. And it says special edition gift set. On the back of the box, it has all the cars names and a little bit about each car. And it says they're called aspirin, Vicks VapoRub, Tiger Balm, Alka-Seltzer, Cod Liver Oil, and Milka Magnesia. You may recognize some of those. And so let's go ahead and take a look, you guys. I couldn't believe when we saw this. Look at this, you guys. Check this out. These are all brand new in the box. And so here they are. This one is the Bear Aspirin. And this is the Tiger Balm. Here is the Elka Seltzer. I love all of the art on the vehicles. This one is Cod Liver Oil, Vicks Vapor Rub, and Milk of Magnesia. And so when we asked the guy how much they wanted for this whole set, he said $5. So we went ahead and got this, you guys. We really love this. Joey especially likes this. And from the same vendor, we purchased these die-cast NASCAR collectible cars. They were only $5 each, you guys. And check this out. This one says Toys R Us. And that's why I really love this one, especially since Toys R Us just closed. And look at the tires. It says Goodyear. And so anyways, we thought these were a really great deal for $5. And here's the second one that we purchased. I just really love this, you guys. This is from The Muppet Show. You can see Miss Piggy and Kermit. It says The Muppet Show. On the back here, there's Fozzie Bear and there's Animal. And I think that's Beaker. I don't remember all of their names, you guys, but I love the Muppets. And I just thought this one was really cool. And it was also $5. So I'm a big fan of the Waltons TV show ever since it first aired on television in the early 1970s. I love this show, you guys, and it was on television for a lot of years. I have every single DVD, except I didn't have this one. This one has all of the reunion shows, the TV specials that were on and made for television after the show had ended. And so I really wanted this and I found it at the flea market. The woman was so kind. She separated it from the rest of her DVD collection just so I could have this. And she sold it to me for $5, you guys. I love this. I've already watched it multiple times. I just think it's a great show for families. It's so family friendly and I can't say enough good stuff about it. So I was really, really happy when I found this for $5 and it was still brand new in the cellophane. Another favorite TV show of mine is The Munsters and I found this colorful print of the Munsters for one dollar in this frame. So this is definitely going into my office. I just love this, you guys. Look how cool this is. And oh my gosh, you guys, I am so excited to show you this next item. The best buy of our day at the flea market is this vintage Disneyland pinball game. It measures 23 inches in height by 13 inches wide. It has so many neat graphics on here. It has Donald Duck, Pluto, there's Mickey Mouse, and there's Jiminy Cricket, and Tinkerbell up there, and there's this little toucan bird here. I think maybe from the Tiki Hut or maybe the Jungle Cruise. There's also images of some of the different attractions at the park. I was so excited. My husband was so excited because, you guys, it was only $10. They had two of them, but the other one, the uh, cover here, the acrylic, was really foggy, and this one was in really good shape. In Southern California, you would never pay $10 for this at a flea market. We've seen them for about $100. And so, but anyways, we were so happy. We just couldn't believe our luck. 
and my husband was wondering how are we going to get this home and I said I'll get it in the suitcase or we'll have our son ship it to us and even with shipping costs it would be worth it but fortunately I was able to get everything into our suitcase so let me go ahead and show you the back side you guys because the back side is made of metal you guys look at this <laughs> They don't make toys like this anymore. And so you just pull this back like this. I mean, we used to play with pinball games all the time. Isn't this fun? And listen to the bells. Oops, let's try again. Here we go. This is so much fun. I mean, can you imagine kids playing with this? And they really took care of this. And then you get points. Isn't that fun? There we go. And let's do the last one. Oops. Anyways, you guys, we're so happy with this. We still love this. And so we're going to be decorating our entire dining room in Disney. So this will definitely be a part of our room. After the flea market and finding all of these fun things, you guys, we stopped at an antique store where I found this little train village set. I think I paid something like $37 for it, and I really think it was worth it. And so it has all of these little miniature buildings. You know I love miniatures, and you can see they're made of wood. I think they were dated 1960s, maybe, and so I'm not really sure. I just like them. And look at this little house. And then look at the church with the steeple, it has a clock on here. I just really, really love these, you guys. It also came with some trees, some cars, and some bricks here, you guys. Looks like maybe a wall. And then there are these flat things right here. I think that's like lawn or something and street. It looks like asphalt. And so let's go ahead and put this together. It looks like it's missing some pieces for sure, but I just really love this. And so I'm really glad that I got it. And for $37, I think it was a good buy. And I almost forgot to share this Disney Alice in Wonderland ceramic figurine. I just really love this. And so I had one exactly like this when I was in the fifth grade in 1967. And it came with a wristwatch with a leather band, a blue leather band and it hung right over her arm. My sister, my oldest sister bought it for my birthday. And so this figurine was only $7 and I didn't bat an eye about it, you guys, because I was having a moment of nostalgia and I think she was worth every penny. That's it, you guys, our flea market haul from our summer vacation in Tennessee. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.